One of the questions I've been asked a lot recently is, well, how do you respond when someone says, well, that's a, that unicity thing is one of those things? Well, my answer to that is I answer honestly, is yes, it is. And that may surprise you. Um, what most people do is they try and deflect or sort of say, well, no, it's not, it's really different, and, and try and position us as something that really we're not, and end, end up just looking kind of devious, quite frankly. So when someone says to me, and I explain what we do and who we are, and they say, oh, that's one of those things. I say, yeah, it is. But it sounds like you've got some concern with one of those things. Help me understand what your concerns would be. They tell me. Usually there's some, quite frankly, horrific story about a brother or brother-in-law or cousin or neighbor or themselves where they bought, with all due respect, a pallet load of juice, sat in their garage for months and did nothing with it, and it was just one of those things, quite frankly. And then my response to that story, usually it's third hand, quite frankly, which makes it a little bit easier to respond is, hey, guess what? If I'd have had that experience, I'd probably have the same perception of this industry as you did. But we've been around for 50 plus years. This is, a, this is a great industry built on solid principles of people helping people, providing opportunities to people they wouldn't otherwise have, lifting people, growing people, providing good products that work to people that we know and love and trust and buying it from those same people. That's the fundamental principles we're built on. Now, every industry goes through its adolescence and therefore attracts some, shall we say, teenager types or cowboys when they haven't quite figured out who they are. Our industry's been going through that. My responsibility, my approach is to take those solid principles and apply them in a way that really does work, that really does add value, that really represents who we are and can be, and hopefully as a consequence of that helps grow the industry up to the responsible adult it needs to be. That's how I answer that question. Inevitably, that satisfies them. If you can take the objection and concur, not try and get fancy with excusing it or just explaining it away, but say, I understand. Get the experience from them as to why they feel that way. More often than not, they're right in feeling that way because we have some competitors that don't do a good job, quite frankly. And then explain the principles that we're built upon and try and guide ourselves with and operate upon, and then how we hope to personify those principles more properly. First of all, you've begun a meaningful dialogue. Second of all, you've negated the concern because you've demonstrated without saying as much, we aren't them. Yes, we're in the same general industry, and I apologize on their behalf, but we aren't them. We operate in a genuine, authentic, predictable, sustainable, and therefore compelling way. I don't need to talk you into buying a pallet load of juice to put in your garage. I just need to introduce you to a great product that will do what I say it will do, and you can enter at whatever entry point is right for you. I attract you rather than sell you. That's how I handle that objection. And more often than not, I've gotten through that particular objection and onto other more productive conversations or other um, objections that they have that are more substantive. But don't be scared of those sort of challenges. Practice the answer you want to give. Practice the answer that is right for you and you feel good about that doesn't deflect or look like you're trying to avoid or not be part of the industry that frankly we are. Where necessary, Apologize for the poor performance of others in our space. That adult behavior alone sets you apart from them. But that's how I answer that question. When someone says to me, hey, that's one of those things, it's generally met with, yes, it is, but you're, the way you say that indicates you've got some degree of concern. Tell me about that. And thus begins the conversation. So, yes, we are one of those things, but we're not one of those things. We're one of the good things. One of the things that can make a real difference. One of the things that can, to quote a phrase, make your life better.